Right, my Salika. A lot of you have been asking for an update on it, and I must confess, I have been putting this off for a very long time. Two reasons for that. Number one, I've been waiting for a break in my schedule to sort of naturally occur in which I could sort of do a week in updating everyone on what's happening with my own cars. I've been very lucky and I've been extremely busy all the way up to Christmas and the New Year and that break never came so the opportunity to talk about my own stuff never happened. There will be some updates on the other cars that I own but this is the one that I know everybody is particularly interested in knowing more about and I think I do owe you all an explanation as to what has happened. In case you weren't aware, the short version earlier in this year to celebrate my 25,000 subscriber anniversary and also just because I wanted to, I bought myself a Toyota Celica GT4, a car I've always loved, always idolized and I decided, you know what, I want one. They're getting to be 25 years old now, certainly the early ones are, which means the Americans can start importing them, which means prices are naturally going to go up a little bit. And much like their close relative, the MR2, they're just getting a little bit hard to find in half decent condition now. Uh, I bought one, I paid pretty good money for it, and I think I made a mistake. The car sounded good in descriptions. Look good in the photos, all that jazz, but when I went to see it, there was just a few bits not right with it. It had a decent, if digital, history folder. The car has been looked after previously, and I just, you know, I talked myself into doing it. I bought the car, and about 400 yards down the road, I realized there were more issues with it than the seller had um, sort of let on. Um, for various reasons, I couldn't test drive the car before purchasing. Um, the car's definitely got an issue with synchro in third gear. The car's had a partial respray in the past, which is now very obvious because some of the car's paint is original, some of it is not, and you can tell which is which. The car's also had a presumably very, very minor shunt at the front. I mean, really seriously minor, but a shunt nonetheless, which can easily be fixed. But I should have spotted when buying it, and my excitement clouded my judgment. And then I started driving it, trying to enjoy it, and then I started having some boost problems, and this is in about March or April time. And then the car kind of just got stuffed at the back of the driveway and sat and has gone nowhere. And every time I looked at it, basically it was starting to make me a bit depressed. I was really kicking myself, if for no other reason than I sold my BMW 130i to pay for it, which is probably one of the best cars I'd ever owned, and then, then I got this thing and I was like, ah, James, you idiot. What have you done? So over winter, I made the only decision I think I could have. Um, the car has been collected and it is no longer on my driveway. It is being restored. I have found a very friendly, very helpful and talented uh, local guy. He's sort of up Norfolk way. I don't live in Norfolk. People think I do. I don't. And he's a follower of the channel. He restores older vehicles, specializes in things like Land Rovers, all that sort of stuff. And he has agreed to take on the sleeker for me. Is getting a full respray. Uh, it had an MOT. It's got a fresh set of Yokohama tires on it because the tires on it before were lethal. And the car is going to be away for a few months. But when it comes back, it's going to be in the best condition it's been for a very, very long time because that car is going nowhere. I intend to enjoy it and hopefully it will have taken some time, it will have taken more money than I wanted it to, but I will have that dream car on my driveway. So there you are, that is the short update. As I get photos of the restoration process, they're going to be posted on my Patreon page just because it's going to be sort of small bitty updates and so on and so forth. Um, the big major updates, basically when the car comes back, will of course be uh, put on the main channel. And so, uh, yeah, that's that's the Celica, basically. So, fingers crossed. <laughs>